What's up, everybody? How's it going? Time for Wonder Friends. Let's load these comments in here. Get rid of that. What's happening, guys? As you start to come into the video, let's make sure we're putting our names in the comments so that way we can say hi to everybody. Uh, we have a really cool project today that took me a little bit of time to figure out how to do and make it easy to do. Um, it was a kind of cool idea. I didn't have a clue how to do it and I figured it out. Super, super excited to talk to you all about it because as you know, it is unicorn week. Look at my head, my head is now a cloud. Unicorn week. Super excited about that. I'm a big fan of unicorns. What's going on, Kelly? What's up, Nolan? Good to see you. As you guys know, my name is Jason Tharp. I am the Chief Creative Dreamer at Wonderville Studios. Guys, what that means is I get paid to make stuff up. It is the coolest job ever. It is what I dreamed about doing when I was a kid, and I get to do it now. A lot of the stuff that we talk about during Wonder Friends is a lot of stuff that has helped me learn how to do all the stuff that I do to get there. And a lot of it started with what we talked about a bunch of times is this cup idea. It was when I learned how to be kind to myself. It's learned when I when I learned how to, to embrace what made me different than everybody else. And it was that I practiced it a lot. That was all those things that really helped me out a lot. Um, and so as we're getting in here, guys, as everybody's loading in, I just want to cover a couple things for you. Um, don't forget to head over to the website and get all these PDFs. Um, they are completely free, 100%. I don't need your data, I don't need your email, I don't need any of that stuff. I just want you to download them, have fun with them, make them part of your homeschool right now as you guys are starting to get through there. Take a little bit of break and do some creative stuff, have a lot of fun with it. Feel free to share that link with your friends, all that good stuff like that. Um, what is it? Let me catch up with everybody real quick. Ava, what's happening? Mason, what's going on? Grace? Eva and Dean in the house. What's happening? Macy, good to see you. I love to see you dancing the other day on that video. That was totally cool. Marley, what's going on? Libby, hello. Sylvia and Vivian, what's going on? Guys, all right, so here's what we're talking about. We have been talking about this book, right? It's okay to be a unicorn. And I've been kind of covering little parts of each part of the book here with you, and I want to do it again today. And I want to cover a different page with you. Yesterday we talked about the idea of why, about being brave, right? And about doing brave things. And today I want to talk to you about something completely different, right? Um, I want to talk to you about like the importance sometimes of our friends, okay? Dorian, what's going on? Good to see you. Emily and Daniel, what's happening guys? Good to see you. Just to catch you up here, we're getting ready to talk a little bit about this page right here in the book. And this page here, it's got lots of donuts in there. If you could see those, all those like yummy donuts in here. And as we talked about before, you know, uh, Cornelius did a brave thing, right? Is he covered his hat to hide that he was a unicorn, right? As we know. Now on this page here, I'm just gonna read this page to you and we're gonna talk a little bit about this today. Um, it says, on Monday, Cornelius stopped by his friend Tilly's donut shop. Congratulations on being picked for Hoofa Palooza's final show, Tilly said. I've been working on new flavors. What do you think? Cornelius took a bite. Holy hay, these are so yummy. But you ever thought about even more exciting flavors, like maybe chocolate hay fever, wowie straw strawberry, super sour green apple grass, Tilly looked thoughtful. Now, what's important about this is that Cornelius is going out and he's finding his friends, right? He's talking to those friends that have always kind of been there for him. And if you guys ever had a spot where Cornelius, if you notice, isn't telling his friend what to do, his friend is that he's telling his friend Tilly some ideas that may help her. Have you ever had a time where you were stuck on something and maybe you said something to your friends that helped them come up with a new idea? Or have you ever been stuck and you've asked for help from somebody else and they made some suggestions to you or gave you an idea that helped you get past something or maybe create something new? That also is the power of being the unicorn. It's sprinkling your magic on somebody else's
day just because maybe you offered them an idea. That doesn't mean that you have to do what your friends tell you to do. That just means that they have ideas too that you might wanna just listen to because some of the stuff that other people are telling you just might make your day a little better and make some of the things that you're struggling with go through things a little easier. So as we're all, let me catch up again with everybody here. We got a lot of people checking out today. Madison and Ella, what is going on? Emily, Daniel, Jesse, Addie, and Katie in the house. Eleanor, what is happening, girl? I hope everything is good. So what we're gonna do is just get mindful, right? We talk about this a lot and we're just gonna take a second to do it again, guys. So put your paper pencils down, sit up big and tall, take a big breath. You could say this to yourself or you can say it out loud, but we're gonna I am smart, I do matter, I am me, and I am super fantastic. Now remember, sometimes we can get stuck and we get scared by the things happening out there or we feel like we're kind of stuck in this world and this bubble and things are spinning and they don't make sense and sometimes we get confused and sometimes we start to tell ourselves wrong stories. But if we could just stop for a second, catch yourself, take a breath, and remind ourselves that we're super fantastic. It's a great way to kind of reset if you feel like the world is getting out of control, right? And stick it back to all those things that you worry about, they don't matter because it is you and you are super fantastic. There's only one you, you are the unicorn, you are the magic in somebody's day and you're the magic in your day. Don't forget that, guys. So just a couple reminders, parents, take a second to share this video when it's done, please. I wanna to try to reach as many kids as I can. The goal of this whole show is to connect kids across different areas so they can see that we're all going through the same thing, inspire them to make something new. Uh, and don't forget, we also have the giveaway going on this week. It's a big one. We got two signed copies of the book. We're doing a unicorn prize pack. There'll be all kinds of stuff inside of this shipment going out to the two winners. Giveaway is easy, like the page, share the page, and drop in the comments to this video the project we made today. So we have been talking about Cornelius, right? And I thought, what better way than if we can bring Cornelius out of the book and bring him into real life? And it made me think like, how do we do that? And I wasn't really sure, but then all of a sudden, sudden, an idea popped in my head and I experimented, and as I experimented, the idea grew, and it became a reality. So, you guys wanna make this? It's gonna be a lot of fun. It might be a little hard, but not really, okay? I'm gonna go as slow as I can, and remember that if it gets too fast, you can always go back to the video and rewind and stuff like that, uh, but, Stick with me here. It'll be a lot of fun to make. If you don't have all this stuff, it's okay. White paper works just fine. Um, I just happen to have this stuff and uh, you should have most of all the stuff to make this in your house right now. And if you don't, uh, I'll give you a second to go find some of this stuff or maybe mom or, mom or dad can go, calm down, dude, jeez. Mom or dad can help you find it if you need to. So. Let me switch over to this other one. Uh, Elena and Drew, what's going on? Good to see you guys. So let me switch over to the other camera and you guys get your, all your supplies ready and we will make this Cornelius paper puppet. Okay. So as you can imagine, I have been having a lot of fun with this person, puppet thing. Um, Cause I think I'm pretty much a big kid and uh, I like to make things. So um, we're gonna make this and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And I'm gonna leave this book here so we can kind of see how we're gonna use this to create this, all right? So again, remember if we don't have the colored paper, it's completely fine that you can do it uh, two ways. We can, you can just color it as you go or after you make this puppet, you can put things on it and color it yourself. So. Um, don't be uh, uh, you know, worried if you don't have all of this stuff. Maybe we just kind of follow along and you color yours later. Um, so there are some steps to this thing. So here's what we're gonna need, just a quick rundown. Markers, if you got them, awesome. If not, totally cool, crayons work fine. Any sort of thing to color it afterwards is perfect. Scissors, now be careful with these. 
We don't want to lose any hooves, right? So everybody watch their fingers. If you need some help cutting it out, ask mom, dad, parent, whoever's there. Some tape, or if you have a glue stick, even better. Um, the tape uh, is all I have. I don't have a glue stick. A pencil, or if you don't have a straw, which is this little handle that we're gonna use, an extra pencil that we can use for it would be great. Um, and some paper. Now, if you happen to have colored paper, whatever color that you want to make your unicorn, you're gonna need two sheets of that color, okay? And you'll see why in a second. So, two sheets of that color, and then the other stuff here. This is all we need in a black marker. So if you have like this kind of marker, there is a black one in there already. So, get ready to do this. This is gonna take a little bit of time, but it's gonna be a lot of fun to make. And I can't wait to see the little videos that you guys make with your little puppet. I think that this is our wonder work just to kind of, as you start to build your person puppet, I keep calling it a person. I think it's because I feel like my characters always become people in my head. But as you start to make your puppet, start thinking about what kind of puppet show you could put on. Because that's what we're going to look for in the wonder work for today. So I'm going to borrow out of the bottom of this guy, this straw, so I can reuse it as I make the new one. So, guys, we're gonna start out with, get your paper that you're gonna make the body of your character with. So, like for this one here, I use blue, so I would find my blue paper, and that's what I'm gonna start with. Uh, if you have a different color, that's fine. If you just have white, that is perfectly fine, because you can color it at the end, like I talked about. Um, so what you're gonna do first, is you're gonna kinda of just roll this paper, okay? And watch what happens as you roll it, you start to make a cone, right? And you, the cool part about this is if you hold the skinny part, guys, and you kinda of just mess with, kinda of put it in your hand like an ice cream cone, and you mess with it a little bit, you can kinda of fix the cone part any way that you want. So see, now I have the cone, right? Now, this is where you might need a little bit of help with somebody sitting next to you, mom or dad or brother or sister or somebody. Uh, if you could help them by, I'm lucky that I have big hands. If I have tape, what we're gonna do is you're gonna get your cone straight. This is the only really hard part about it just because it's kind of awkward. And you're gonna just tape this to the top. You see what I did there? And all we're doing is stopping this from unraveling, okay? So once you tape to the top, now it's not gonna go anywhere. Another easy thing to do then is to take another piece of tape and put it along the paper. See how this paper is meeting right here? If I put a piece of tape along each side of that, now it won't, no matter what I do, come apart. That's what we're looking for. Now, check this out. So as we got our cone like this, we're gonna kind of fold it down. And do you see how this makes a line right here? In that line, you're gonna take your scissors. Be super careful, guys. All right, we don't want anybody to lose their hooves here. And we're just gonna cut right along that line and get rid of that extra piece. We don't need it, just get rid of it. And if you see here, what happens is now we just, when you un when you unopen it, Ta-da, we got a cone. If you have like I do here where there's a little extra point or a little extra piece, just nip it off there and you are good to go. And then you can kind of trim off those little extra chunks if you need. But now we have a cone. So it's like, da -da -da -da. we can make like a little cone out of it. We can do all kinds of stuff. We can put it on our head. We can actually make a unicorn horn out of this, all this stuff. We can do all kinds of stuff, but we're gonna use this for the body for our character. All right, so now that you have your cone, set that part aside a little bit and get another piece of whatever color that you used for the body and put that in front of you, okay? Now, what we're going to do with this is we're going to fold this paper in half just like so, all right? Now, it doesn't have to be perfectly in half, but uh, you're gonna put it in half now, what we're gonna do is with your pencil, you're going to draw the head shape. 
of this character, which all it is is an oval. So I'm going to draw an oval on my paper like this. Okay. Now, if we look at Cornelius here, his ears are capital D's. Okay. So what you're going to do down below is you're going to make a capital D, just like this. Okay. So now on your page, you should have an oval and a capital D. Now remember, we folded our page in half, and I'll show you why that was important right now. So I'm going to cut this between those two shapes so I have them separate. So now I have my oval and my capital D shape on one of them. So what you're going to do with your oval is you're going to cut around that line that you made. Okay. Watch your fingers, and we're just going to cut right around this line. Just like so. If you want, you can sing a, a cool song right now, like a, you know, a magical unicorn song. Um, I'm not going to sing because uh, nobody would like to hear that and you would be uh, like, okay, we're done with this guy now. I don't want to hear him sing anymore. Now, this is why we folded it in half. We want these to be the same, right? So when we folded them in half, we were cutting two pieces of paper at the same time. So check this out. Boom! I was like a magician. So like I should have done a little better. All right, ready? I'm going to show you a magic trick. Forget that I just showed you what I did. Forget what I showed you just a second ago. We're starting over. Ready? This is a magic trick. All I have to do is wave my hand like this. I have to tap it with my magic sharpie and boom! Two pieces of paper out of one. I know, I know, I know, I am, I am amazing, I am magical, I know, um, it is very difficult to be that good at magic. So now, two pieces of paper, we got them set. Now remember, we had our D here. We are going to cut around the same thing here. So, I'm going to cut off that side. And I am going to cut around this side, so I have this capital D. And... Ta-da! We have made magic again. Phew! Two Ds. All right, so, now, this is the one part that I messed up on the first time I did it. So, learn from my mistakes here. What we need to do, is now we have our pieces, is we need to mirror them, okay? What I mean by mirror them is if you've ever looked in a mirror, if you stand in front of a mirror with lettering on your shirt, have you ever noticed how on the mirror the words are backwards? Uh, that's because it's mirrored, right? So what we're gonna do, the easiest way I've found to do this is we have our two shapes. Turn them so they're facing away from each other, right beside each other. And we're gonna build these at the exact same time so it's a lot easier. So put those two side by side just like that, okay? And you're gonna need a couple pieces of tape for this part, and you're going to take the first one. Now, remember we wanted a capital D, right? So the capital D faces that way, and you are going to tape it on the one on the left side. Remember we talked about left is the one that makes a regular L, that is our left side. So you're gonna tape it here. Now, remember we want the exact opposite on this one. So, we had a regular D, Flip it over, so now it's a backwards D, and it goes right here on that side. And we tape it down. So if you look now, see how these are mirroring each other. They're the exact opposite of each other. That's exactly what we want. Now, I'm going to flip them over. If you have glue sticks, you probably won't need to do this, but since I have tape, I do need to do this. And I'm just going to put just a little piece of tape on each of the back side so that way it makes sure it will ensure that those are taped together. So we have our things mirrored, right? And we're going to just scoot those up a little bit out of our way. So now we have our head and our body, right? We need eyeballs. For eyeballs, we're going to use the white. Remember the white paper we had? We're going to use some white paper. Now, same thing. Check this out. We're just going to cut a little piece of white paper off. Okay? Now that we have like a little piece like this, we are going to fold it in half. Just like so. And we are going to take our 
pencil again. And Cornelius has these big oval eyes, right? We are going to make a big oval on our page, just like so. See it there? And we're going to take our scissors and we are going to cut around that oval. Just like this. I'm cutting out a unicorn eye. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I could do that. <laughs> you see what I did there? I just made an eye joke. Um, so, but I did. And now we got two eyes that are exactly the same. And then what we're going to do is, check this out. We're going to put them on here, right? Just like this, okay? If you have a glue stick, great. Just glue the back of it down there. I don't. So I am going to take a piece of tape and I am going to roll it. Or if you want to just tape the edges, totally up to you. You do your thing. Uh, I do my thing. We are all making the same thing and that's cool. And we're going to take this right there just like that, right? Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Because remember, what are we doing? We are mirroring these, correct? All right. And I'm going to put this down right here. Just like so. Look at that. I mean... If this doesn't look like him, I don't know what does. It's the best. I love it. It's so much fun. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to make the unicorn horn, okay? Now, we have <clears throat> the need for only one here, right? Because we're going to put this between. Think We're going to make like a unicorn sandwich here, and we're going to put the horn between these two spaces. So if you look at Cornelius, what shape is a horn, right? The shape is an upside down V, right? Now the cool part about if you have a piece of paper is that you already have on the piece of paper one straight side already. So all you need to do is just draw an upside down V, just like so, right? And now that you have your upside down V, guess what you gotta do? You just need to cut right along there. like so all right now that we have those we start to do this let me ask you a question have you guys ever been frustrated when you were making something and you got almost done and it messed up and you messed up somehow and you had to start all over have you ever felt that way before like really frustrated by that and what do you typically do do you do what I did yesterday and like throw it up in the air and walk away and be like, I can't believe I can't mess that up. I can't believe it. Um, or do you just say, oh, well, it happens. Um, but just so you know, this was where I got frustrated yesterday because I kind of messed up here too. So what we're going to do is you're going to take your marker and just put some lines on it. Just like this, right? Some lines. And then we flip it over. And now here's the cool part. Because my marker shows through, maybe yours does as well. I know that I can just make the exact same lines over top of the ones that I just made. So now I have a unicorn horn, all right? Now, here's the key. We only need to put this on one side for right now. And I'll show you how this all works. But whichever side you want, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna put that there. And now I'm gonna flip it over though because we don't want it, we want it hidden behind the eye, right? So I'm going to flip it over and put it on this side and I'm going to put a piece of tape or if you have a glue stick, just glue that down right there. And when I flip it back over, I can put another piece of tape right here as well. Pretty sweet. You see how it's starting to come together now, guys? I'll put some white paper behind this so this gets easier to see. Check that out. Now do you see this Cornelius starting to come together? Kind of cool. Um, this was the part where I really got excited when I was making it because I knew that like, oh yeah, now I can see it. Now it's working. This is pretty cool. I feel like I made something. Uh, I patted myself on the back, all that good stuff like that, um, which feel free if you want to take a pat yourself on the back break, go for it right now. Give yourself two pats. Good job. 
you're doing it great, all that good stuff. It's amazing. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to make some eyebrows. And here's what I did last time. It worked out great for me. So remember my scrap page that I made, that little piece of white paper for the eyebrows or the eyeballs? I just took that and I just trimmed off these pages, right? Now I don't have black paper. And as you remember, what we talked about before is if you don't have the paper, it's okay. You can use what you do have and make colored paper. So what I did was I flipped over that black paper, that clear paper I made, or the white paper I had, with my black marker, and I scribbled on it. Okay. Now, once I scribbled on that, and I trimmed off all this extra white paper. Check it, I have some now black paper. Pretty amazing. And then all I did for the eyebrows is I just cut a strip. One there and one there. So now I have two strips or in unicorn terms, two eyebrows, okay? And I took those eyebrows and I'm going to stick them right here. I'm gonna put one there. And I'm gonna take my tape. And I'm just gonna stick it down right there. Ta-da! Okay. And I'm gonna take tape for the other side because remember we're mirroring them again, right? Same thing. We're mirroring them so it faces the other way, right? And it goes right there, just like so. All right. Tape down, good, secure. It's not going anywhere. Proud of myself still. You proud of yourself still? Are you still sticking with me? This is pretty cool. It's all coming together. Uh, and now, this is where we really give him some life. All right, we need some eyeballs on this guy. So, we have our Sharpie, or your marker, or your Crayola marker, or your crayon, or your pencil, whatever you're using. And inside of these ovals right here, what we're gonna do is we have some other ovals inside, right? And that other oval just goes right inside here. And we're gonna color that in. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. And color that in. Look at that, now it's got a face. So cool. Now, unicorns have those big nostrils like horses, right? We talked about it the other day, about if we pretend we have an Easter egg and we broke it in half and we put them side by side, you're gonna do the same thing here. You're going to make one oval that is like, or I'm sorry, half circle, half oval that's right there and close it with a straight line. Color that in. Now we have a horse nostril. Do the same thing on the other side. Color that in. Doom, 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 doom. Ta-da. All right, now we have a big old smile, right? And it's kind of hard to put the mouth open here. So what we're gonna do is just give him a smile and that smile is just going to go down just like so, right? So it comes from back here all the way down and touches right here. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. It's just the opposite, just like so. Now we have two mirrored heads, right? Now, this is where it gets exciting, is we have our body, and we have our heads. Right now, it's not much of a puppet because, could you imagine like our puppet would be like, here's my puppet, it's in three parts, and th no, it doesn't work that way. So what we're gonna do is, this is what I found out to be the easiest for me, and this probably will work better with tape than it would glue, but if you have glue, I think it'll be fine too, is I took a piece of tape, and before I stuck it on there, I put the tape right here on the edge, okay? So now I have like a little overlay there. Now, and then I took the cone, and you might need a parent to help with this if you have little hands. I luckily have big hands. And then all I did was, if you see like the top of the cone, we're gonna kinda cover that up, right? And as I cover that up, I am just putting that tape right along that top right there, okay? So now it's attached to it. Now, because we made a mirror, we're going to flip this over, right? And now you see the other side of it, right? The back side, it's all gonna be hidden. And I get a new piece of tape, and I take the piece that I have here, and I'm gonna 
put my extra tape on there as well and I'm gonna hold this up. Or if you need to lay it down, that works too. I'm gonna to hold it up so it's easier for you guys to see it. And I'm gonna try my best <clears throat> to line it up with the other side, right? Because they were the same size cut out. So I'm gonna try my best, and if it's not perfect, that is completely fine. And I'm going to tape this side. So right now, if we do this, it's gonna fall apart, right? But if we keep them together, you'll notice now we have a two-sided thing, right? So now what I did was I laid it down and I got another piece of tape. Or if, this, if you have a glue stick, this is perfect for this. I rolled my tape here and I put it between this. If you have glue stick, glue the inside of this together. You're gonna put a lot of glue down there. And then I'm going to try to align up those edges together and where I, put my glue, I'm gonna push really hard, really hard, really hard. And now, check it out. It does not fall apart. It stays exactly where it was. This is called unicorn magic making, and you did an amazing thing right now. Let's take a pat yourself on the back, Brig. You deserve it, you did great. So, now, what we're missing here is we're missing that cool haircut that Cornelius has. Now, this is where I want you to do your thing, all right? I'm gonna do mine just like what I did here, okay? But if you want to do a bunch of different colors, if you want to do spikes, if you want to do like real hair, like I don't care what you wanna put down here, totally up to you, you do your thing. But I'm gonna show you what I did and then you can figure out a way to do it for yours, okay? So for me, what I did is I took my pink paper that I had here and it was much easier to do it, I felt like, with shapes that were already there. So I did like, if you look, these are like kind of half ovals. Um, I'm going to set this other one that we made just over here for right now. And Cornelius has like half circles down the back side of his body, right? And because I had a straight line on this, and I knew that I need to attach it, right? That's the big thing you need to think about, is you need to be able to attach this back there. So I'm gonna use that straight line to my advantage. And all I did was I just made some half circles. Now, if you look, it starts out bigger, bigger, or bigger, smaller, 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 smaller. So I wanna do the same thing with my half circles. I'm gonna make ones that are getting just a little bit smaller, and a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna make four of them, just like this. Can you see that? And I'm gonna cut so it's easier to handle that off there. So now I have my circles, right? Now I'm gonna just cut around each one of these. Now if you don't want the pencil line to show up, all you gotta do is just cut on the inside of that pencil line. So if you look at mine, when I cut it out, you can still see the pencil lines around, right? And I just wanted to, them to not show. So I just cut a little bit inside of those. And you do the same thing all the way down through. So if you're making spikes, you're gonna do the same thing. If you're making, let's say you wanna make just like different hair, remember folding your paper in half and just cutting cutting them, and you cut those in half, we'll give you two, right? So it's easy if you wanna do just a bunch of different ones and tape them down through there, you can totally do that too. Um, I'm just gonna do these down through here. So you figure out whatever kind of hair you wanna put on yours. I would recommend not cutting your hair off and putting it on there, uh, because number one, I think that you would get in trouble, and number two, uh, you need your hair, um, because I don't have mine, I lost my hair, and um, I think it's because I used to cut my hair myself and that's why I have no hair anymore. I don't really think that's true, but it might be, who knows, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so anyway, now that we have our hair here, okay, you're, all you're gonna do, whether you made spikes or you made other hair, we need some way of taping it on there. Now, if you look, it's pretty flat and it's really hard to tape anything that way. But there is a trick to this. If you fold 
just the very edge of this. So now you have, can you guys see that okay? Like a little edge to that. Do that all the way down through each one of these guys. Little edge, and then just set them aside. Little ledge, and a little ledge. Now that we got all these little ledges, we're gonna take, if you have a glue stick, this is probably better, um, but because this is really hard for my big fingers. Uh, you're, otherwise, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a piece of tape and put that on just that little ledge. So now if you see, I have tape along this little ledge, but I have tape hanging off the side. And I'm just gonna set that aside. And I'm gonna do the same thing on each one of those. I'm gonna put that tape right along that little ledge, hang it off there, set it aside. Tape on the little ledge, set it aside. And then last one, tape on the little ledge and set it right to the side. Okay, now, if you look, we're going big to small. Same thing we're going to do here, is we're gonna start with our big piece. And because you made that little ledge, you're going to put that little ledge right there. So we're gonna kinda of get it where we want it to be and where you're gonna hold it, and then you're just gonna put that tape right there. Check that out, it attaches perfectly, not going anywhere. The next piece, the next biggest one, gonna put it beside it and put that tape down the next size you put it there and put that tape down and the last piece you put it oh no oh, oh I almost messed up but that would have been fine because it still would have been pretty cool so now our Cornelius has hair Again, I think we deserve a pat ourselves in the back moment. Let's pause for a pat ourselves moment break. Feel good about ourselves. We did it, we've done it, we are awesome. So now, I just so happen to have a straw at my house, um, which is cool. It's paper, which is awesome. Uh, it makes it work much better. <clears throat> so I have a paper straw. If you don't, I have also an extra pencil and I'm gonna show you how it works with either one. So. What you're gonna do is put a little piece of tape, because tape will be better on this one, on the end of your straw, pencil, or whatever. Hold your unicorn upside down. Apologize to him later, tell him you're sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to make all the blood rush to your head. Um, but anyway, put it that, take that straw in that you did and put it inside there and push it down. Okay, and you're gonna need one more piece just to make sure, and you're gonna put that tape on that straw, and you're going to push it down. So now, now you have a stick inside there, right? If you have a pencil, same thing. Put a little piece in, into that pencil. Hold your Cornelius upside down. Put that tape in there and do, 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 do. you have two, well I have two, you have one dancing Corneliuses. And that is how you make a paper unicorn puppet. I'm going to switch over to this other one real quick. I'm going to take my friends with me here. switch over Danielle yes um, after this is video is done they will be posted on Facebook uh, you go into the videos tab and you can rewind the whole thing um, I don't know if you could do that with the live video or not if you can go back but you can uh, it'll also be posted on YouTube uh, if you go to wonderfulstudios.com click on that wonder wonder friends link there's a whole the YouTube section there uh, it'll be posted there as well um, so you can go back and check all that out. Uh, so Elena and Drew, what'd you guys think? Was this fun making these unicorn puppets? Uh, so here is, 
I've been overrun by unicorns. What is going on in my life? I think I'm going unicorn crazy. It's a unicorn party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> all right, that, that's enough. So, uh, sorry guys, so here, here's our wonder work for today. Let's get this up here. Wonder work for today in, in the comment section will be for you, you to make a unicorn puppet show, right? Take your unicorn, make a video, have some fun with it. Is there any way that you can maybe play a trick on somebody? Maybe somebody's on the couch and you bring it up slowly in the video by them. Maybe it's something that you make up a whole story about this character and you just make a little video. Maybe the character could be doing homework with you or he could be working out with you or you could just be dancing. Whatever you want to do, make a video with your unicorn puppet. Have fun with it. There is absolutely no wrong answer. It is just having a good time making some fun today. Which also brings me to the wonder word of the day, which is magic. Now, I don't mean magic like you can make things just appear. I mean magic like this, where you make something and you can disappear for a little bit. You can create something that will help you make a world that you want to just have fun in for a little bit. Magic is up to you to make whatever it is that you want to do magical. Because I don't know about you, but when you make something like this, it's really hard not to think that this thing has a personality. Like I could be like, dude, will you stop walking around in front of me all the time? Right? That's magic. You make magic every day. I know sometimes right now it can feel like that we're not getting to do a lot of magical things, but you still can make magic in your day by just disappearing into your imagination. There are so many lands that live there. There are so many worlds that live there that you can just create any sort of magic that you want to create. So just to review with you guys, we are talking about this book right here. Which way do I? This one right here. That it's okay to be a unicorn. You can find that on my website. You can find that on Amazon. You know what would be really, really cool? Is if you go and you find them on some local bookstores, support those guys. I know that we have a lot of really great local bookstores in Columbus. Uh, cover to Cover is a really great local bookstore that you can check out. Uh, support those guys too. But you can find all the other books that I have there as well. Um, Tomorrow's Supplies. I'm excited about this too because we're going to have a lot of fun with this. I need you to find, we've done, remember monster chunks we did with canned vegetables. I want you to do the same thing. Bring a canned vegetable, bring a small box maybe. Maybe you have like a small box of like macaroni and cheese. Uh, maybe you have, uh, you know, a small like container of some sort. I'm going to have a small box and a can uh, so we can do this. Uh, so we are going to have a lot of fun with this tomorrow and we're going to make some unicorn magic, okay? And we're going to have a lot of fun making those things. Uh, giveaways all went out today, so you should get them in a couple days whenever the mailman gets to you. Um, that's where, the, so if you, won the, if you won last week, giveaways all went out today, so you should get them, I would think in a couple days. I'm not really sure what the mail's running right now, uh, but you will get them. Um, so. Have some fun making your unicorns today, guys. Remember, the key to happiness is embracing your unicorniness. Just because you can't get outside and go hang out with your friends doesn't mean that you don't bring magic to everybody's life and that you don't bring magic to your life as well. Take a moment today to sprinkle your magic on somebody else. Be the unicorn. Have a great day. Have fun making your unicorn videos and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.